Leaders of seven of the world's wealthiest nations made a show of unity in a fractured family. It's a pleasure to have you here, Donald. Well, Justin, it's been really great. Hours earlier, after leaders of the G7 annual summit in Canada complained of U.S. tariffs, Trump was less diplomatic. And, you know, they're trying to act like, well, we fought with you in the wars. We, they don't mention the fact that they have trade barriers against our farmers. Isolated on trade, Trump appeared vaguely hopeful in meetings with French President Emmanuel Macron and the summit's host, Canadian President Justin Trudeau. The relationship is uh, probably better, as good or better than it's ever been. And I think we'll get to something very beneficial to Canada and to the United States. The situations and the positions are very clear. The president of the U.S. thinks that uh, the U.S. have been treated in an unfair way by Europe and by others. We don't want to negotiate under trade. Trump also proposed allowing Russia back into an expanded G8 after Russia was ejected for the 2014 invasion of Ukraine. Italy's Giuseppe Conte agreed, but Canada's foreign minister voiced the view of the rest of the G7. Canada's position is absolutely clear that there are no grounds whatsoever for bringing Russia with its current behavior back into the G7. The diplomatic drama inside the meeting is not matched on the streets. Two hours drive from the summit in Charlevoix, 9,000 well-armed police outnumber the few hundred peaceful demonstrators.